Hi y'all. Um, I have been asked to give a garden tour, so I'm going to go ahead and give a tour of my garden. I actually did a little video of it um, a couple weeks ago, so um, we've had some changes in it, but I can give the updates in the video on a voiceover and um, let me know if you have questions or suggestions. Um, I love my garden. At first I did not want it to be so big. I was working a lot of hours um, and I no longer work that many hours and I'm able to tend to it a lot more. And um, due to COVID, my husband's been home a lot more so we've been able to tend to it just a lot better. And um, we're seeing the difference in our garden this year. So yay, yay for a good garden and less bugs and less weeds. But um, yep, and there's Shotzi running along behind me. She's our pointer. All right. So enjoy. So this year we did something a little different. My husband actually put in several raised beds. Um, we did finally get tomatoes. We've never gotten tomatoes before. We have three in the ground and a couple in the raised beds. Our cucumbers, this is an early shot of uh, one of our cucumbers, but we have been getting loads of them. Our bush beans did so well this year. I actually had to plant twice. So in the video, I'm showing you some different types. I planted some, um, those are royalty purple ones. And we also have just some blue, blue lake um, flats and regulars. That's a dragon tongues green bean. And I love it. I just love those dragon tongues. So in addition to that, we did plant pole beans, but those were stringed. So these were my favorite this year. Here is our asparagus bed. It is the second year and next year we should be able to harvest 100% of them. So in this raised bed, we have a bunch of onions, carrots, and here is some celery. That, this is a first time that we've done celery. It takes approximately 150 days to ripen. Lots and lots of carrots. Since this video, my son pulled up most of the carrots without being asked. So I went ahead and made a bunch of fresh carrots and also froze some when he did that. Here is the corn. We have harvested nearly all of our corn already. It was actually our first good year of corn. We have four different types of potatoes growing here. Since this video, we have harvested our Yukon Gold. Here's some pepper plants, more onions, some different herbs, some um, kale. Walking over to the tomatoes that we have planted in the ground. We did do some pruning of them. They have grown so big, we still are learning to prune. Here's our um, creeping plants. Some muncher cucumbers here. We have more munchers down here. And obviously I took this video before I did my harvesting for the day. We have some straight eight cucumbers in a couple different spots. And here is one of them. Up, and those ones were still small since this video I've gotten a lot of cucumbers I already had started pulling up my zucchini but I'll show you inside the zucchini plant I have one and it has been an amazing giver this year on to my Crenshaw melons for a little while I was not sure what I had planted here I had wrongly marked it winter squash and these have actually just grown humongous. I've gotten four out of them. My pole beans, I planted Blue Lakes and Kentucky Wonders. Imagine my surprise when I went to harvest some pole beans and I found mockingbird eggs. Yep, beautiful little mockingbird eggs right in the top of my pole beans. And yes, that mama bird did not let me harvest any pole beans anywhere near that nest. I got dive bombed. Here is the other side of my pole beans. And then up the hill, I have some watermelon and pumpkins. 
Next is my butternut squash plant, and though that grew from a seed from a store plant. And then next to it is a cantaloupe plant. Over here, you can see that I have some golden honeydew melons getting ready. And there's also some raspberries. I showed a little bit of some of the watermelon. We have red raspberries. We have some yellow raspberries. We have crimson sweet and sugar baby watermelons. They are very hard to spot now um, because we have a few more weeds than I had in this video. We have so many pumpkins growing that I'm really not sure how many at this time, but I have already harvested about four of them. Here's our blackberry bushes. They are done with their season for the most part. There's just a few more down there, but they are mostly done. We have some Concord grapes that we have really never eaten. We've only ever given them to the birds since they get pretty buggy. We have some different varieties of apples. Here is our famous peach tree. Since this video, there's definitely not many, not any more peaches on that tree. We're honestly a little late to post this video, but I figured better late than never. So we are getting just plenty and plenty. This is an example of a single day harvest for us. I hope you enjoyed the garden tour and I look forward to answering any questions.